Hello, I've returned with another ADH Wealth Solution. Today, we will begin to discuss fulfilling all of your financial needs. As always, this is a basic description. For an evaluation of your own, please schedule an appointment. My information is in the description. Lastly, make sure you hit the like, drop a comment, and if you're new, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. So, today, we're going to continue to learn how to buy a house. So, we've already seen what a mortgage pre-approval looks like. Now, this is a quick offer sheet, and not all offer sheets look the same. They will vary by company. And even by office. So this is an offer sheet on the seller's paper. So if you'll see here, it's the date, December 20, 2017. This doc is not to be used as or in place of a contract. That's why not everything needs to be completely filled out. What does need to be filled out is some pertinent information to make the offer valid to be presented from the buyer to the seller. So generally, as a home buyer, you don't get to see the offer sheet, usually because you don't work with a buyer's agent. Generally, you only list with the list of work with the listing or the seller's agent. There is a disadvantage to only working with the seller's agent. The advantage to working with the buyer's agent is that they work in your interest to get you the best possible price, while the seller's agent works in the best interest of the seller to get the seller the best possible price. So, you have me as the buyer's agent, and me and my co borrower as the buyers. You have Mr. Zarifor as the seller's or listing agent. You have the buyer's information, names, home addresses. You have the buyer's signatures on the very bottom. You have here the address listed for purchase, which in this particular uh, instance, we were looking to purchase 540 Crescent Street in Brooklyn, New York, 11208. That sales price of that property was 799000 Now we approved for almost $200,000 more. But just because you're approved for a certain amount does not mean that you should always purchase that amount. After our budget analysis, we found that a range of 800000 was the maximum that we were willing to pay. Generally, in a mortgage, $20,000 is equal to about $100 difference in mortgage monthly payment. So the sales price listed at $799,000. The problem is we didn't put an earnest or buying depo- binding deposit. Generally, in this market, a binding deposit is anywhere from $100 to $1,500. It's kind of a good faith payment to say, I'm sure other people are offering, but here's not only the fact that we have the mortgage and you'll guarantee the money from the bank, because there's a process that goes through that even after the offer is accepted, that will further allow you to get the next process of a mortgage pre-approval, which is a commitment letter. So the down payment is $27,965. Luckily, because this is an FHA loan, you only have to put up to 3.5%. 
So the mortgage amount would be $771,035. We didn't discuss the balance due at closing because that's discussed by the attorneys and that's determined after certain things are done when you move forward in the home purchasing process. You'll also have here your buyer's attorney. Again, you want to work with a buyer's agent so you get his attorneys and they work in your best interest as opposed to the seller's agent and the seller's attorneys who will work in their best interest. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're enjoying the content, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, and share, share, share. Also, if you'd like to donate to Channel Growth, my information is in the description box. So, once you've completed this form and signed it, your realtor should next be making a copy and sending it to a few different parties. Generally, the parties that are going to receive, uh, either via fax or email, a copy of the offer sheet, along with the pre-approval letter to prove that you've been pre-approved for this mortgage, will be sent to the listing agent as well as the attorney. Once the listing agent has the offer, they legally must present all reasonable offers to the seller. So what that means is a reasonable offer could be 500000 even though the listing is 799000 Interested in having an evaluation? Find my contact info in the description and schedule a consult to explore your options. Have a financial question but don't know who to ask? Email me at a.hall at cgwealth.financial and your question may be answered in my next video. Security products are subject to investment risks, including possible loss of principal. Before investing, carefully consider the investment objectives, risks, limitations, charges, and expenses of the product and any underlying investment options. This information can be found in the product and investment option prospectuses. Copies are available from your registered representative.